Since September 2006, Kevin Van Oort has been writing for GameSpot.com, but sadly, all good things must come to an end. Kevin, you are leaving us at the end of this week. Uh, I am. On a brand new adventure. I am. Uh, first of all, before we get a little bit nostalgic, can you tell us about your brand new adventure? I can. I, uh, I'm, I'm joining Tryon Worlds um, to be writing the, uh, the, the English stuff. See, I, I write for a living, and yeah. so I have a good, I, a good command of words. I'm actually very uh, <laughs> verklempt and emotional the last few days. But mm. uh, yes, I'll be joining Tryon Worlds um, to be writing the English dialogue for their upcoming um, Korean MMO. Sweet. Um, which is called Devillion. So there. There it is. There's, is. Can I can I say can I say the game's name on air? Or is that considered like a? I think you oh, already yeah. did. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, don't worry about can it. I get the, the, um, what are they gonna do? Fire me? <laughs> uh, so was this something you always <laughs> thought you might do? Did you? I know your first love was 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 writing about games, or at least it was back you know ten years ago, nine years ago. Did, was this always something you thought you might get into? In the I mean, you just never know. It's not something that I got into this for. I got into this because this is what I wanted to be doing here at Gamespot, and so. I still remember looking back, you know, you start a new job or, or whatever and you always have like that HR interview where they, it's like, what do you want to be doing in five years? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> this is, this, I never imagined I'd be here doing this. This was the pie in the sky. This was the dream. I have no idea what I want to be doing. I mean, in time, obviously, we all want to grow as people. We all want to try new things and use our talents in different ways. And, and uh, this opportunity came up and I decided to grab it even though I'm terrified. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm terrified. Um, I, more terrified, actually, than when I got the job at GameSpot, really? which was, I lived on the East Coast. I drove, I put everything I had that I could fit in my car, mm. which was mostly game stuff and a little bit of clothes. <laughs> right. And I it's drove... Baltimore, was it? Yeah, the Baltimore area, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. I lived in Columbia, Maryland, and I drove... Tw I actually went to work that morning what was work then? Work, I worked at a company called National Data Care, which did, which wrote software and did service for nursing, for nursing home banking. Sounds like nursing a blast. Home yeah, it was a blast. <laughs> um, so I went to work for my last day of work with everything already in my car. Mm. Um, and then when work was over, I got in my car and drove 2,300 miles in three days. Across the oh. across the United States, and discovered that there are some states I would move to, and <laughs> some states that I would not. Uh, Route 80 all the way across. <laughs> like I just picked up Route 80 in uh, Pennsylvania, and then just zoom all the way across the country. So one of the questions that people ask us a lot is like how you broke into this industry. I remember you from my own time. I'm coming up on 10 years being a Gamespot member in August. Back then. You were a prolific member of the community. You were a moderator, uh, and then I remember yeah. seeing you uh, write on the site. So how did how did that happen? What were you were you, were you doing freelancing? I know you were a big part of the Gamespot community as well. So I was a big I was a big part of the Gamespot community, um, just in the forums and stuff like that. Um, the forums I think had a sort of a different timber back then as well, um, and and so I wrote a lot of reader reviews. I was a big part of the forums, and then I became a moderator. And then I started writing for a, a, a site called Inside Gamer Online. It, it sort of is, still exists. Mm. Um, it's called Smashpad now, but it's you know it's just one of those things where a bunch of people that love games get together and write for free. I wasn't making any money from it or anything. Mm. Um, but then, um, but apparently I was pretty good at it, and I st and then uh, I started freelancing for GameSpy. Cool. And uh, my first review, my first paid review ever was for a game called Crime Life Gang Wars. I still remember it to this okay. day. A one-star review on GameSpy, <laughs> um, starring <laughs> starring famous rap group D12. Oh yes. Eminem's posse of there. Of course, and, yeah, from Detroit. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> great, great game. Clearly, it was terrible. It was everyone an awful, remembers. Awful, awful game. The highest score I ever gave at GameSpy was three and a half out of five stars. Really? I, I did a lot of handheld licensed games. Okay. The, I think the best game I ever played was a PS2 game called Barnyard, based on uh, <laughs> based on the movie Barnyard. <laughs> Which I've what? never heard of. Do you remember the I movie think it was Barnyard called Peter? Barnyard. No, no all right. um, but uh, yeah, it was sort of a. It was sort of a, yeah. Is that just what happens to like early <laughs> Peter? When you much. first started writing, uh, it was in quite the industry, good. Actually. Did you get all those dregs as well? Just like the do freelancers just get the crap? I <laughs> lucked out. <laughs> yeah. My first review is the Dreamcast for PC Magazine. So. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast. <laughs> okay, that's pretty solid. Um, when I first started reviewing here, I think the first one I did was Tekken 3D with the 3DS. Wow. Does that sound right? I don't know. God damn it, Kevin. Was Kevin reviews editor when you came on? No. That happened like 
two years after. Well, at least that was like when it was officially when you when you started. Justin was Justin Calvert was yeah. right doing that. Yeah. So what was your progression then through? Because you actually started, if I remember correctly, were you like organizing I started button in mashing community. or something? I said not button mashing. Like no tournaments. Or tournaments. Something? Tournament, tournament TV. TV. That's what it was. So <laughs> the way it happened was, so I I was doing all this stuff for Game Spy and for like, and I mean I knew the Game Stop, the Game Stop. Yeah, it's I'm going to be one of those it's people now. Happened. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I, I knew the GameSpot staff already. I, I, you know, I chatted with them at E3 and stuff because I'd been to E3 for like three years for Inside Gamer Online, cool. and and you know sometimes you know we just chat and say hi. And I got this call out of the blue from Jody Robinson um, to tell me that this position had opened for tournament coordinator, mm. and they'd like to bring me out. I mean, none of this happened because I applied for it. Right. Just out of the blue, I get a phone call. Um, and then, sure enough, like a couple days later, GameSpot flew me out here. <laughs> um, and then it was the weirdest job interview ever because I didn't feel like I was interviewing for a job. I felt like they were interviewing for the chance to have me. It was the strangest oh, really? thing. Like it was, they were so complimentary. It's like this is just a, you know, you know, just a formality. We just really want you to have this job. It's like that, that makes me feel good. That's who, a good feeling. Who interviewed right? you? Right. Uh, oh gosh. Well, Jody Hank Van Niekirk was in charge of. Of that bit of the games group at that time, mm. because we had Game Center. I don't know if you remember Game Center, no. um, but we there was a there was Game Center and tournaments was part of that because we all there was also a little multiplayer client. Um, oh wow! Okay. To, to use to connect with other people and games Game Center didn't last a long time, but there had been a lot of staff brought on for for mm. Game Center. I think Sam Parker might have been one of those people. Um, looking back, I don't remember, but I think he might have been. And and uh, so I got the job. And I did the scary move, mm. and uh, I did tournaments for a while, um, along with, you know, Rich Gallup was usually the host of Tournament TV, and yeah. I was usually the, the person there. But I handled all the behind-the-scenes stuff for tournaments. I did all the preliminary stuff until, mm. like, go, go down to Final Two. But it didn't take long, and I was sort of transitioning. I think Alex was the one who was, Alex Navarro, mm. was the one who assigned reviews in those days. And, and uh, he knew my work from previous, and he, he took a chance on me and said, hey, here's a thing I want you to review, some war game. <laughs> um, some, you know, American Revolution war game. So Fun. it's like, okay, yeah, that was hot. fine. Yeah, have to take but up the then, Confederate flags now. Is the only but thing. then just a few games in, and I was being trusted with some other things that were, were a little bit bigger. Like what? Um, Command and Conquer 3 uh, was probably my first, what I would say, big review. Before that, most of those games had been relatively inconsequential. Yeah. Um, that wasn't Greg's, was that? <clears throat> no, which one was Greg's? Greg Kasavin's C&C. &C. Greg Kasavin um, was uh, C&C uh, Red Alert. Oh, was that? Okay. He, yeah, he went yeah. to Red Alert. He did, he did do some stuff with Command and Conquer 3 before it was released, mm. um, but he joined the team close to that game's release. And so Red so Alert 3 was his... I think his big project there was, before he moved on. Was Greg gone by the time you started here? No, Greg was still here was when still I first here. started, but he wasn't here for very long. And then, of course, I was here um, for, for Gersman Gate. Yes, of course. Um, the following year. So presumably, I and know you're was, a massive fan of, of Ryan and Jeff and, and of oh, course, Alex Oh, of course, well. yeah, absolutely. When I first started here. Can I, can I share you a little story? Yeah, I think I've shared it. this story before about Ryan Davis. The first time I saw him in person go for it. was when I... I was I think it was for the interview, not my first day. It was either my interview or the first day on the job. And I walked into the editorial area because Jody was showing me around. Mm. And he was playing Super Monkey Ball for the Wii, and he was clearly frustrated. And the first thing I ever heard Ryan Davis say in person was, Fucking cock! <laughs> <laughs> And uh, that was, that's my, that, that truly is my fondest Ryan Davis memory, <laughs> unless you count the, the day he was, you know, he, he told me how wonderful it was that I could buy Pepsi for 25 cents. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, yeah. The CBSI um, uh, uh, vending machine. Yeah. So, you know, but these are guys that I just looked up to. And, and actually, I felt very awkward when I started. Yeah, they, so when that happened, because there was this big surge of people who left afterwards, <laughs> Vinny did, Brad Shoemaker left. Yeah. Did you have, the, did you feel like stuck between a rock and a, because you just got your dream job, I did so. in a way. Um, it's like, well, what do I do now? Mm. Um, I, you know, because these guys I looked up to, but I, I was never part of that core group because I was new. Mm. They had a year's worth of rapport. Um, I was experience. still, yeah, an experience, mm -hmm. and I was still trying to fit into things. And so when it happened, I was just, I was just flabbergasted. The day it happened, I had to go on on tournament tournament TV that day for the Ace Combat Six tournament. Great, yeah. And couldn't, I just sat there like a one. stone. <laughs> <laughs> um, the whole time, just staring ahead, I, w I was just flabbergasted. I didn't know what to do, and of course, everybody started dropping like flies. And part of that was they were friends. They they yeah. they had an idea. They were doing something new together, 
And, but I wasn't really part of that core crowd, and so I was stuck feeling like I was left behind, and what, what was I gonna do? I'd, I'd, you know, I'd driven 2,300 miles for my dream job. Um, it, you know, I, I wasn't ready. Um, Command and Conquer 3? Oh, that's that's, <laughs> that's uh, actually Red Alert. Um, that's Red Alert. But I did do the Red Alert 3 <laughs> review. Um, <laughs> and speaking of your reviews, and speaking that's of, Red Alert. Yeah, that's of, Red Alert. of fond moments, what are the reviews that stick out to you as your, oh. as your favorite reviews over your tenure? I know you've given a couple of 10s. Uh, you've two uh, tens. Given a couple of ones as well. Uh, uh, t two ones? Actually, okay, do you want to do a test? Okay, so you, we're, we're doing a test? So, I've shout out to, to Will in Engineering who uh, scrubbed oh the database. Oh my dear God. <laughs> so, we have some great... Um, Mary passed these over to me just before This is we went a fun live. test. I like this. So, we have a bunch of facts about Kevin Van Orr's uh, nine-year tenure at GameSpot. Okay, let's see um, if I can get, get, answer my own questions about me. Uh, me. First of all, how many reviews do you think, think you've done? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> 600? 745. Oh, holy shit. Nice. What's your, <laughs> what's your last review going to be? My last review is probably going to be Journey for That's the PS4. That's a good PS4. fit for you. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, what's your... Actually, okay, well, let's do it by number first of all. How many ones did you give? Two. Four. Four? Because I gave two 1.5s. You did. Correct. And so two they're ones. In there. So is oh, that what that did? He's good, yeah. Same. All right, I can tell you what the 1.5s are. Okay. Anubis the second, or Correct. Anubis two, as it says, and Stalin versus Martians. <laughs> yes. The two ones are air control? Yes. And actually, sorry, there's three 1.5s. Oh, three 1.5s, because the other is Revelations 2012. Nice. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, I remember <laughs> these. You remember I remember these. these. Because uh, Revelations 2012 is one of my favorite reviews of having written it. Oh, really? Not that the game was good, obviously, but it was fun to write that review. Uh, and your two tens? My two tens are The Witcher 3 and Metal Gear Solid 4. Yeah, yeah. Uh, two solid ones. Uh, let's get into some of the other ones. You Get gave, it? So four ones, <laughs> uh, obviously these are all broken down because our, we're only at ten point. Uh, okay, I didn't realize there. that they were going to be yeah. smushed in like that. Okay. Uh, two, uh, sorry, ten twos, 27 threes, 65 fours, 83 fives, 141 sixes, 197 sevens, uh, 162 eights, and 54 nines, and then one two or two tens. Two tens. Uh, what is your average good. score? Do you think? Six point four. Six point six. Ah, oh, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, pretty close. Uh, how many reviews do you think you did your first year? <laughs> when I was skinny. <laughs> I'm sorry. What the fuck? Oh, this is amazing. Also, yes. great shirt to wear uh, uh, for that camera. Oh, man. I miss being skinny. <laughs> I'm working at being skinny again. People ask me that from time to time. Do you know for a while, if you Googled my name, the yeah. auto fill in was weight loss? At oh, the really? Top for a while? I remember, so, yeah. So apparently, people were totally into the fact that I was losing weight. And sadly, I didn't stay that way. And I'm oh. going to try again. But anyway, it's just people they... ask me all the time. About this, well, so. when they st when they took the connect out of the box for the Xbox One, it kind of stopped. I guess, <laughs> the dream. That's uh, true. Your yep. shape was that game there. You did 17 reviews in 2006. Se what do you think was your busiest year? My busiest year? Yeah. Uh, 2011. <laughs> Oh, so close. What is it? So close. 2012? 20, 2010. Oh, 2010. You did 120 reviews. Uh, actually, take that back. 2009, 127. Okay. Um, okay. It went 17. I don't know. I would never have had an idea. <laughs> from starting in 2006, was. going through 17, then 77, 89, <laughs> 127, and now here's the slow decline of Kevin Van Ort. <laughs> 120, 112, 64, 59, 48, and only 32 this year? Yeah, I mean, this is what happens, too, when you're put in charge of something. <laughs> right. So I had less time to do my own stuff because I was herding cats in the form of the freelancers. Right. Um, and so you become more, you know, you're, you're, put, you're giving stuff out more and doing stuff on your own less. Yes. And it was one of the things I missed, actually. I missed kind of being a reviews machine. But there's also the fact that in that time we lost a whole, we used to have a whole department that they did a lot of stuff, but one of the things they did is enter our stuff in the CMS. In other words, our content management system. We didn't touch that stuff as authors when I first started. Right. There was a department that did that. Um, so we just wrote shit and sent it to them, and they yeah. did the rest. They sub edited it as well, or yeah, well, it went yeah. to copy edit too. Right. We don't have that either anymore. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have a reviews editor either anymore, Kevin. Oh, Thanks sorry. very much. Uh, and the last one, your uh, most used words in your reviews. The. Uh, I oh, think, wait. Are we uh, come I have a feeling <laughs> those have been scrubbed out. Yeah. Um, most used word. I mean, it has to be. 
Oh God, I hope it's not an adverb because I'm a staunch anti-adverb. No, I wish. It, I hope it's an adverb. <laughs> what, I don't know. I have no idea. What well, is the first it? First one's gain. Gain. Oh well. Second one. Uh. Think about your podcast. Game spot. No, your gameplay. Yeah. Gameplay was play. the second play. Yeah. Play. Two words or one. Gameplay is two words or one? Gameplay is one word it's in my one word? Book. Okay, yeah. so gameplay is not even here. Uh, then you have action, <clears throat> adventure. These are all sort of... This is the most close. boring cloud of Characters, terms ever. Developer, series, shooter, story, fun. That's a good one. I'm not the enemy of fun! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, world, uh, I love. <laughs> if I actually, if I if I read this all out in one wor one go, it's a really good sentence. Action adventure battles, character combat control, developer dragons effect, elements enjoyable enough, entertaining, exciting experience. Fans features feel, final flaws force fun. Game gameplay, give hours, <laughs> give hours, give hours, and then two eyes together. So presumably that's for two or something. <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Keep levels, lot mechanics, mission moments, number offers. Online original play. Powerful provides rather role playing series, shooter story, strategy, visual world. Sorry, visual war world years. That reads like the back of a box of the best game ever. <laughs> uh, Kevin, before we wrap this up, uh, one final question for you. Oh. What is what are the favorite moments for your time at GameSpot for you? Oh, what are the biggest moments? What are the moments where you thought, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I have this job? Your oh my fucking God, I don't even know. Um, so, there was a moment at... Uh, I, I, there, there are quite a few. Mm -hmm. um, one of them is, is sort of like meeting my own. Like we all have those game heroes that we have, like game developers that we love or yes. in, industry people that we love. And getting to meet who I always thought of as sort of my, my idol was Ragnar Tornquist, who, mm -hmm. who wrote The Longest Journey, which is my favorite game of all time um, and worked for Funcom, um, who made my favorite MMO for a long time. Yeah. You know, well, and Longest Journey as well. But um, meeting him was certainly a highlight. That was a lot of fun. Um, and so meeting other people like that, meeting Richard Garriott and, mm. and things like that, and, and, and uh, that's, that stuff is always kind of cool, although I'm not, I'm not somebody that's much of a, a star fucker. Can I say this now? It's my, <laughs> last, it's my last day. So I'm not somebody really like that that's like, oh, I'm blown away by meeting this person. Yeah. Um, but, uh, there, God, there was, there was that. Um, there, there was that kind of stuff. Um, Sometimes just getting to play certain games and getting a chance to just review them and yeah. say what you want to say is is always really will you miss it fun? God yes. Yeah. God yes. Um, like one of the, I mean this is terrifying for me because I'm leaving something huge behind, something I worked like I really wanted for so long, and uh, like sometimes I have those moments where it's like oh I'm not going to write the Fallout 4 review yeah. for Gamespot, and that's awful. Mm. I really wanted to do that, you know, and then I think, oh god, I don't get to review No Man's Sky mm. or I don't get to be in, in the fight for who's going to be reviewing No Man's <laughs> Sky or whatever. Like, this stuff was is really meaningful to me. I mean, I'm going to keep writing. Nobody's going to, you know, every, nothing's really going to change in terms of the things I love. I'm going to yeah. keep playing all these games. I'm going to write about them because I can't not because I'm opinionated and sassy. <laughs> <laughs> We so, love your opinion and your sass. Uh, and uh, we've, yeah. uh, we've loved working with you, Kevin, over the past nine years. Uh, everyone's come here as well uh, to, to Oh my God, support. there's uh, a bunch of people. Over, folks. Uh, it wouldn't be a, a GameSpot farewell without some Do sort of... Do I know of, all of you? <laughs> Did you just like grab people come downstairs in. to come in? Uh, oh. We've all had a, a wonderful nine years working with you, Kevin, and you it wouldn't be a, a GameSpot farewell with at least uh, one more secret montage. So uh, Mary has uh, provided us with one. So let's let's check out your secret montage. Oh. Hello, everybody. Did you miss us? Well, I missed you. I am your host, Kevin Van Ord. Hi, GameSpot viewers. This is Kevin Van Ord. Be charming as ever, Kevin Van Ord. Welcome, GameSpot viewers. I'm Kevin Van Ord. I'm joined by Justin Calvert and this mysterious floating brown box. Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots is likely the most technically stunning video game ever made. Resident Evil 6 is sloppy and random. You've never quite seen a mess like this. Demon Souls might be the hardest
this game you'll play all year, but it's also one of the best. Where The Witcher 2 sort of sputtered to a halt, The Witcher 3 is always in crescendo, crafting battle scenarios that constantly one-up the last. You could level certain criticisms at Mass Effect 3, but the flaws aren't too consequential in a game that does so much with so much elegance. So where'd the big boy go? He is... Oh, there he is. Oh, no. oh shit. Run! Look behind you. <laughs> Don Kool-Aid Man should show up in this and it would be awesome. Oh, yeah! There you have it. Played around in Unity and had the yeah. balls <laughs> to charge people money for it. Do you, Do you know, know what, what does it does mean? mean? Have I found Kevin's home street and sent us this picture? Wow. Oh, wow. You are coming down. I'm going to make sure that the game... Whoa, right on top of me. Oh, it's right. late. It's Friday. It's <laughs> Friday <laughs> afternoon. Those fucking I'm idiots. ready for a nap. Uh, you're all terrible. All terrible. There are a lot of personal space issues in this office today. <laughs> Dragon is killed. He is... The body is falling down. And I am going to absorb his soul.